Hey everybody. Just spending some time in the glue book today. Get situated in my chair. And see what we've got going on. No real rhyme or reason for the day. Um, healing glue off of my glue stick because I get OCD about that for some reason. Um, anyways. So, working in the glue book today. I got my little tray of goodies. Um, and there we go. Let's just jump right into it. Um, let's see here. Since the last time I saw you guys, I think I've played around in it some. I did some house sitting over this last week and spent some time. Let's just see what we got. Let's just do a quick flip through and see. I think I did a few pages. I say that and all these are just backgrounds. Um, these two pages I worked on. They're not done. I don't know that I'll ever have done pages in here because I keep adding things. Let's see here. I don't know if I worked on these. I don't remember what what the last pages you guys saw were. I know these were some of the first pages you saw. I know that was a page that you saw. Let's see here. Maybe I worked on that a little bit. I added a few things here. I feel like I did a whole new page. No, that one maybe. Don't sweat the small stuff, just nail the big stuff. Maybe I'll have to tag these when I when I do them so that way we don't have to go through a whole oh I worked on these I know that these two little self-care type pages and then I did that one pardon the French um, for those of you who are new to my channel um, and new to my glue booking stuff um, I put together this glue book so I could work on it through, I'm currently doing some treatments for cancer right now. And um, so I put this together kind of as a, uh, for something me, for me to continue to be creative um, throughout my treatment. Um, I typically normally do journal making but I didn't want to commit myself to that and I figured this would be a low energy um, type project that I could continue to to be creative even on the days that I really don't feel like doing much I can at least add some glue to some images and stick them down so this this whole book is kind of what I've been working on through my treatment. So that's that's where the language come from. All that to say, that's where the language came from. Because <laughs> you know, cancer sucks, and there you have it. I was, like I said, I was house sitting this last week and I was able to um, just really spread out on this lady's um, on her 
her bar, her dining room table area. There's plenty of space to to play in and create in. And um, so it was really nice to have everything just kind of all spread out. All these pieces in this box, I could have them spread out and just kind of dig through them. And I, I don't have that luxury in my art space uh, right now because I've got a few journals that I'm piecing together right now. And as the story goes, we never have enough space on our art space. Um, that's a little crooked, but that's okay. We're gonna work with it. I love this little fox. I don't know where he needs to go, but. Kind of like that there. There's a skull, a cow skull back here that I'm really not a huge fan of. So maybe if we cover it up a little bit. This, look at this cool ceiling fan piece. I think it's going to be big and annoying in, in my way, probably, but... I'm just pulling out pieces and seeing where they work, if they do work. So not much going on with me. Like I said, I did some house sitting this last week and um, was able to, to pill around in this book a little bit. Um, kind of like that. Um, as far as journals, I'm in the middle of making some adventure outdoors type journals. Um, I'm making three of them. I have one of them done, per se. I need to, to do the sewing it in. But it's, um, it's done. Let's 
for the most part. Maybe I'll work on that this weekend. We've got a um, holiday weekend coming up. Memorial Day here in the States. It's Monday. I'm off work. rhyme or reason to this page. I'm just gluing stuff down right now. I like these dogs. There's a place for them. They kind of blend into the background there. So I'm not necessarily a fan of that. Those kind of work there. found my um I was missing my little my little gray scissors I found them they were <laughs> they were in a stack of um they were in a stack of magazines who'd have thought Who'd have thought it? Somewhere in here, I know there's another little blue flower. Somewhere. As soon as I give up on finding it, it'll... Here. I have another lady walking in the garden, and I'm curious to see if she will. goes in that garden. Kind of lines up pretty okay. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Why not? This is in the front of a, from the front of a magazine. It says contents. 
So I was thinking I could put it somewhere up here. I want to cover that up though, know that. I mean, it don't go very well up here. Oh well, it's worth a thought. It was worth a thought. Again, just kind of gluing things down. No rhyme or reason. That's the uh, the joy of doing this. Uh, I know some people have like themed glue books, and I know my friend Laura over at Half Ass Crafters is doing like a glue books rooms and and. Uh, I'm not, I'm not doing any kind of a rhyme or reason with this. I'm just kind of just kind of going with the flow of it. Whatever happens, happens with it. There's a chicken. Does the chicken need to be in the on the couch? <laughs> I went online and I came across this website. I was looking for magazines, preferably free magazines or super cheap magazines. Um, and I found this place for catalogs, and I was like, oh, catalogs, that would be a good idea, because catalogs would have stuff, you know. And, um, so I signed up for some catalogs, and, um, Then I came across a site that had um, state. Oh, there needs to be a chicken on this page. Definitely. Um, your individual state uh, travel guides. And it you could easily access all 50 states through this website. And um, so, I got some travel guides in the mail the other day. So, I've been chip chop, chip chop, chip chopping. So when I've not been playing in my glue book, I've been cutting, fussy cutting. 
going through little magazines and and just fussy cutting some good stuff. I love these little cows. They have little hearts on their, their heads. This came from a Enid, Oklahoma. Um, travel guide. Maybe we can cut around them and tuck them in there. I won't do some real fussy, fussy cutting. I'll just do a little bit of kiss cutting around them. I think we can place them in this field here. I think we can. Too wild and kooky. I kind of like to be wild and kooky on my, you know, like place a butterfly in the kitchen or some, you know, something that doesn't normally go there, but we'll work with this. Or like a huge hummingbird. Larger than life hummingbird in this scene. I don't know why, but I feel like that kind of goes there. So we're just going to make it go there. Found a little home for that little turtle. Not a fan of snapping turtles, but you know, they have a place in this world, I suppose. That will tear his little tail off. Let's see what else we have. We have a cheeseburger. Cheeseburger go anywhere? world's largest peanut. I can go there. Why not? That's from a travel guide too. <laughs> Somewhere there's the world's largest peanut. So it's out in the field with this guy now. Let me go back to my ladies. Where is that picture? Where is that one I was working on? The future is female one.
These were both murals, by the way. These two. I just felt like they needed to go there. garden gnome. He needs to go somewhere in the garden. Don't you think? No. Here's another chicken. I gotta find another chicken. Oh, there's my chicken. She don't need another chicken. Hmm. Who else needs a chicken? Does she need a chicken? Standing on the lamp? Yeah. Kind of blends in with it, but maybe that's the point of this, is to be like a brown blendy page. I don't know how much you guys can see that with the uh, glare. That is the thing with using magazine pages. They, um, the glare that comes along with it. Let me see if I can put another. Another little hummingbird on this page. We're going to do 30 minutes or so today, um, mainly because, you know, not much going on, but I did want to come on here and piddle around in my blue book a little bit. I'll probably continue to piddle around in this today. Yeah, that looks good. Again, that's the fun of this glue book to me is just, yeah, that looks good there. And I, I end up with pages that I really like or pages that are like, what were you thinking, Shell? But my whole point of this is to just do no stress, low stress kind of thing. No stress, just glue, mainly just cut and glue, but today we're just gluing. I feel like I had another coffee. I do have another coffee. Oh, there's another flower. I knew I'd find it. I do have another coffee. Maybe we'll go this, this page with the coffee. I even actually feel like I have another one or two. Do we want to dip our dumpling in our coffee? Sure. Why not? Uh-oh. Let's rip it. We don't want to do that.
<laughs> That's funny. Still didn't find a place for this lovely little fox, but that's okay. Oh, here's another coffee. Even yet, I still think I have another coffee in there. Now I'm kind of determined to let's find the coffee. Okay, well, this is going to be coffee page. <laughs> we determined that. There's some butter. We have some butter with our coffee. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Why not? So I was able to play around with just just my pieces and making them come together. Um, and that's what I wanted to do with this. I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to feel stressed to do to complete a page or a theme or anything like that. I just wanted to be able to glue some things down. Whatever made sense. Whatever I wanted to do. And that is, has worked out really well. To use let's pick me out a couple more pieces I'm gonna use the lemons and oh here's another garden gnome and here's a little cow so let me pick out five pieces that we're gonna use and then I'll close this up lemons and cow and a gnome and the word disconnect Maybe a mom and a baby tiger. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's find a place for these five things. I think the gnome can go back in the garden. Like disconnect here. Yep. And let's see here. Do we need the... No. Um... Here's our little garden. We can put this little tiger down here because there's a mama and baby polar bear. You see what I'm doing? I'm trying to make themed pages and I don't necessarily need to be doing that per se. Okay. Does she have a gnome in her garden? Mm, I don't think so. It's 
So we have the lemons, the cow, and the gnome that we need to find a place for. That's where I was thinking to put it, but it really doesn't go there. So, oh, does she have a gnome in her garden? See, here's my problem with, with, with collage. I don't like to cover things up. I could tuck him right here, but then I have to cover up part of the little turtle, and I don't necessarily know that I want to do that. I just think he's cute like that. Is the gnome in the bathroom? We're going to put the gnome in the bathroom. I find myself doing linear type stuff, like lining this up. See how this is parallel with the bathtub? I've done that a couple of times. Um, let me see if I can find the other. Like this is another one. Um... This is another one. Well, there's a lemon here. Does it need some more lemons? No. We're down to the cow and the lemon. Why not? Again, I don't want to stress too much about this and I'm starting to try to figure out what goes where and we don't want to do that. We don't want to spend our time trying to figure out what goes where. We just want to make it happen. Right? There's a search for a place for the lemons. That's an interesting place for it. It lines up against the spoon. But it lands, it lines up against the side of the spoon and it lands in the center of that spoon. So that worked out. I was gonna show you the other linear thing I was telling you about. If I can find it. It's a guy, it's, he's playing the jazz instrument. There he is. See, I've got that linear right there lined up. Which is, it's just kind of the way, so like when you look at this page, you read inspiration, then you linear follow this, your eyes follow this down, you know. Anyways, that's just my, my thought process. I like, that's very pleasing to me, this lining up of this <laughs> kind of stuff. I don't know what that's called. I just think it as a linear type. You're making them fit together. I don't know, but anyways, that's about all I'm going to do for you guys today. Uh, thanks for joining me. Um, if you, 
you don't have a glue book, I highly suggest you get one. And, you know, we all come across things in a, in a magazine or a catalog that are like, oh, that's cute. Oh, that's pretty, you know. And nothing wrong with cutting them out and gluing them in a book just because they you like them and they make you happy. Nothing wrong with that. So I highly suggest it. You can do them themed, um, you know, colored pages or, or, you know, specific things you want to collect from a magazine. You know, just whatever you want to do. I highly suggest it. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you guys soon enough. Bye for now.